Hey everyone, welcome back to another Crew Scott English Lessons video. Today we'll talk about AI and its role in teaching. So if you're a teacher, this is a must-watch video because I'm going to talk to you about how to use AI tools to enhance your teaching abilities, save time, and particularly how to use chat GPT. Everyone's using it for different things, but as a teacher, I've used it to great advantage. You can make lesson plans, you can make activities, exercises in a few seconds. So watch till the end while I show you how to do it. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that. So let's just get started. This will type in chat.openai.com to get started. It'll get you to this website. And down below, you see a box just like on Google search. So here's where you type your prompts or your queries, whatever you want it to do, you type in here. So let's see if it can come up with a lesson plan on verbs. So because this is artificial intelligence, let's just start by saying hi. And it says, hello, how can I help you? I start off by saying, can you make me a lesson plan on verbs? On verbs. And it starts off with, uh, with the objective and then materials, just like a traditional lesson plan. It just starts, it just starts to type them out. All the standard sections of a lesson plan. Well, this is just a skeleton. It can be modified and tweaked, but you have something to work on. So you don't have... Okay, so let's ask uh, ChatGPT to make us some exercises on verbs. Okay, let's give it a command. Make an exercise on verbs. Guided practice. So lesson plan according to me should, should have guided practice and independent or freer practice. So guided practice is where they get some sort of scaffolding or support. So let's see. Okay, fill in the blanks is a great way of doing that. And it started typing out the exercise. <laughs> wow. It also gives you answers. So yeah, you can just have, you can have all these things ready and put them on a document, a Word document, and make your lesson plan. See how easy it is. All right, so we've done an exercise and we've done a basic lesson plan. It all depends on how we query or prompt this chat GPT. So you can ask for different things. You can ask for specific things like you can say, make an exercise on verbs for intermediate level and it should have 30 items for example. So it can do different things. You have to be more specific to tweak your output. But this is good enough for me to work with. Like I can add pictures, I could add whatever else, uh, but I have a skeleton and I can work with this lesson plan in about a few minutes, like maybe 10 minutes, I'll have it printed out and ready to go. So you see, can you just imagine the power of this thing, you know? I just gave you a very common and very low level use case. People are using it for various things, but as teachers or as learners, you can think of ways, you can ask it to do whatever you do uh, during class prep or when you're just sitting in the staff room and trying to think about what's your next lesson going to be like. So I hope this video uh, sort of gave you some information on how to use it as teachers. If you did get something out of this, please do give a thumbs up, uh, like this video, leave me a comment, tell me how you've used it or plan to use it. And that's about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.